Sterile means free of all microorganisms. Hey sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here, and in today's video, I wanna break down the definition of sterile so that we're all on the same page. When it comes to surgical instrumentation and surgery, we wanna make sure that the instruments we are providing are completely safe to use. But how do we know for sure that those instruments are safe? Let's talk about a few terms for a minute. Let's talk about sterile. Amy defines sterile as free from viable microorganisms. Now, we aren't saying that because it's sterile, it's free from all microorganisms. There might still be dead microorganisms on there. There will be dead microorganisms on there, but there is no living, viable, reproducing microorganisms. But the question is, how do you truly know that those instruments are sterile? When you take those instruments out, the only way to absolutely know if they're sterile is to actually culture all the instruments use the culture medium and the incubation process, and then use microscope to actually look and make sure that no organisms are growing, or you can use the fluorescent light method stuff. But you can't do that and then use those instruments on a patient because you've already contaminated them. So how do we know that once it comes out of the sterilizer, that it actually is sterile once it's used on the patient? How can we truly know that? Now here in the US with the FDA, we use a temperature and time method to verify the sterilization of our instruments. And this can be found in Amy under the definition of sterility assurance level. And the definition of SAL, sterility assurance level, is probability of a single viable microorganism occurring on an item after sterilization. SAL is normally expressed as 10 to the negative N, which would be like if we were gonna do a six log reduction, that would be 10 to the negative six. A 10 to the negative six of sal means that there's less than or equal to one chance in a million that a single viable microorganism is present on a sterilized item. So you're telling me there's a chance. So SAL is the mathematical equation we use to decrease the chances that a viable microorganism survives. Do you remember all the disinfectant products from commercials and everything else, especially during COVID, where they actually promote 99.9% .9 kills all bacteria? Or maybe it says kills all bacteria up to 99.999%. You'll never find one that says 100. And this is according to the FDA rules. Those disinfectants follow the same sterility assurance level that we use for sterilization. It's just a lot less of a method, much smaller of a mathematical equation. So sterilization being six log reduction means one in a million chance that a viable microorganism survives. If you look at this chart, you can see that each increase in a log reduction moves the decimal point over. So a three log is a one in a thousand chance, five log is a one in a hundred thousand chance. I think you get the idea. And since we are tasked by the FDA of achieving a six log reduction, this is why the biologicals contain a colony of at least one million spores. And you can learn more about that in the biological video I did. If all million microorganisms from that vial are completely destroyed through that sterilization cycle, you have met the six log reduction. Okay, wow. Now that we know all that, how do we know that the process we're using actually guarantees that every square inch of instrumentation is free from microorganisms. Like I said earlier, we don't. Even if we test every square inch of that instrumentation, we then cannot use that on the patient, which means there's always this unknown. We can test, we can verify that the sterilization cycle is killing all the microorganisms in that vial. We can watch the physical parameters. We can test with um, process challenge devices. We can do everything we can, but we cannot absolutely 100% say there's no organisms once it reaches the patient. It's a really crazy process of scientific and mathematical verification and hope, but I don't want you to fret. This process has been verified and validated over and over and over and over and over and over and over again that it is an effective process. 
This has been done both in labs by applying tons and tons of colonies of bacteria to instruments and then sterilizing them. This has been done through every 510 um, validation of sterility of instrumentation. This has been done over and over again, proving that sterilization works and does not cause infection if done correctly. There's lots and lots and lots of data that this does work. So one remaining question might be, why can sterilization never be 100% free from viable microorganisms guaranteed? Oh gosh, there are so many factors why. For one, human error. Human error is the leading cause of failures, whether it comes down to point of use cleaning, um, cleaning and decontam, proper use of detergents and enzymes with temperature and humidity and dosing, using appropriate brushes, functioning and dosing of your automated washers, process of drying the instrumentation to prevent more bacteria forming or biofilm, um, inspection practices, checking for cleanliness, pitting, rusting, disassembling instrumentation to its smallest capabilities and levels to clean and sterilize, proper sterilization parameters, handling of packages after sterilization all the way until it's opened, and even maintenance of your HVAC systems to ensure that they are running at the proper temperature, humidity, air exchanges, and your filters are changed when they're supposed to be changed. And this doesn't even take into account other factors like steam quality, function of the sterilization gauges, functioning of the containers and the filters and the wraps that are used. And honestly, the constant mutation and adaptation of organisms themselves. So, so, so many factors that we can't control and way more factors that we can control, but human error can plague that anywhere in the process or multiple places in that process. That is why education and proper standards and protocols being followed is so important. You need to keep your techs trained. You need to maintain your equipment. You need to also follow all verification and challenge testing for your sterilizers to ensure they are always working at the highest performance. Regardless of what your pay currently says, you are incredibly, incredibly important to patient safety. Your knowledge and expertise are critical when it comes to this process and keeping patients safe, having successful surgeries, all that is critical upon you. You are very important. Never forget that. Any topics or videos you wanna see, please put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.